My Gaming Edge. Hi, this is Lemlock for MyGamingEdge.com. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the ETF 12 official between my team Button Bashers and Thermal Dake um, on Gravel Pit. So, we're defending first side. You can see um, we've got an engineer there, Gear just killed himself for it. I'm doing the stickies that I always do every time I play Gravel Pit. I always, always put stickies on the fire extinguisher. Um, uh, people probably do still fall for it. I'm not sure, it's just a habit I've gotten into. I see no other use, oh, no other way to get a kill there via stickies. People know how to push out of there properly now, or should do. They should. You should never be getting killed there. I see a lot of demos um, sticking the point with ninja stickies and such, but I really don't see the point because whenever I'm, you know, whenever I'm going to cap a point or pushing in somewhere, I check every single little corner that something could be hiding at. So as you can see there, uh, I managed to get a kill on uh, Joey C. He he sh he could have bonked out there. This is easy after all. Uh, unlocks can be used. He should have bonked out there. He didn't. Fair enough. Some teams don't like the unlocks. But yeah, that got, that got me the kill on him. Um, so some nice little ducking and dodging there for me to avoid the sniper. I've caught it for my team, so we're going to be putting a bit of pressure on him now. Um, I failed my stickies on the demo, so they're trying what other, all other teams try to do and go aggressive and get the pick on the medic or force the uber rather, so that they have the advantage when pushing into this point. Um, so what the heavy tend to do is stay back near the sentry. You know, one heavy, one soldier on top of the point and um, the other with the medic near the sentry. This gives our medic optimal protection because we do not want to lose that uber before they've attempted a push. So I get to teleport back to the um, point. So I know they're going to be pushing in with Uber as well. And my stickies at the bottom didn't work last time, so I change it up. But I do. I'm not sure if other demmen do this. I would recommend doing it because everybody checks the bottom. Eventually, they're going to be checking down there as well now, but up there rather. So yeah, as you can see there, didn't check it. In fact, it didn't look like he was going to check the bottom way. But anyway, um, nice pick on this old there. I duck under here so that they can't actually see me coming again. So I just get some stickies up. They should have heard them. So I hide in the corner. Dem man's about to come out. They're, they're just trying to force the Uber again. They, you know, they lost the soldier. They realised nothing was going to happen if they pushed. So I just went all or nothing and pushed on the medic. Um, what we should have—you probably just saw the—you um, just saw the scouts pushing behind us there. What we should have had is one of our scouts um, behind in C watching. Um, I think we did, but he died, got picked by both of them. Um, yeah. So, as you can see there on the right side, I'm putting the stickies in a different place again. Try and change it up as much as possible. Don't go for the same trap all time, although having said that, I have done the exact same thing on the left side that I did last time. So, they're out on the right side while I was getting ammo, so I'm having to change it up again quickly. Um, those stickies just, you know, hoping that they push around to the left onto me. Um, so we're going for the standard hold that I mentioned before, where we have one sort of roof, one sort of with medic, me on the left side, sticking both sides. So now it's just um, a death match, so I'm having to reload all my ammo as quickly as possible. Having lost, just lost our medic though, I'm trying to do as much damage as possible to everything whilst calling it. Oh, we haven't lost our medic, sorry, my bad. Um, lost the scout. Traded off for a soldier, which isn't too bad. I have nothing loaded at all. This so I've now got to try and protect our medic whilst killing them. Nothing loaded at all. Misses, and I missed that pipe, which was a crucial pipe that I couldn't miss. Unfortunately, I hit the one after he's dead. So we just got two new players in a soldier and a scout. Now there's three of them in the corner. They're in. That was terribly bad positioning. That was terrible positioning there from a TT. They got themselves stuck behind the rock whilst we had. Um, High advantage, high advantage. We had one soldier on the point, and um, one soldier on the roof. Obviously, on gravel pit, height is everything. If you don't have the height advantage, it's more than likely you're not going to be able to win the push. Um, so yeah, 
that's more or less why we managed to win that bit when they pushed back in with a medic. That was incredibly stupid of me. I saw the sniper, and before I'd actually um, seen the rest of the team, I decided to push the sniper, get a quick pick on him. Uh, I was about to jump up onto the point to get the sniper. Mark over extending bit there. Should have come back in earlier. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I should have um, just put some stickies up on the floor in front of him rather than actually jump trying to get in his face. Um, this is a favourite. That was a favourite um, stick trap of mine in, Grant, in uh, Gravel Pit. I use it not because it will kill somebody, but because as soon as the medic comes out and he's in a position, like he's just um, in front of him a little bit, I blow them. Uh, which, as you'll see in a, you'll see in a minute, what it does. It basically, um, it does that gets the medic away from the heavies. So. There was a few seconds there where the demo and the soldier were separated from the medic and they had like three, two, three seconds of not being ubered. Um, in that time, we should have killed both of them. Um, we didn't, but we still managed to put enough pressure on them to force them out. The soldier and demo fell out straight away, leaving the medic to run away with the uber inside. Um, so that's why I used that sticky trap. So again, going for it. The right side is a bit of a horrible place sticky, in my opinion, because the right side on the left that is the second exit. Because you know, there's nowhere there's nowhere that you can sticky without it being the shot away by a soldier. It's such an easy place for soldiers to get rid of stickies. Similar to here, I shouldn't be getting any kills while sticking the main entrance. Yeah, I still do because soldiers don't help the sniper out there. I really should have been killed there by um, whoever that scout is. I think it is. I'm not sure who it is actually. But yeah, that was some um, bad awareness by me. As with all the other teams, we're going to do the standard um, hold on top of um, the spire where we have the medic and the soldier with a heavy. Um, standing around the middle point whilst one, one guy's on top um, spamming down and another obviously the medic can't be um, you know, in plain sight because of that sniper that you just saw me trying to attack so they're going for another all or nothing attack where they're trying to kill our medic off I think they gave up though after that one soldier went down so it's just going to be another hold off again here while building it we've got a pyro on top of the point now um, pyro heavy is the perfect um, class which for your scouts to make purely because of how you know they are easily the best classes to push off the point and um, push others off the point. You got the um, knockback of the pyro, and um, yeah, like I said, no soldiers helping that um, pyro, that uh, sniper out there. So, I, so straight away, I'm just going um, going to push in there and get in his face because I know he doesn't have the support because they've called they're on the right side. My team called that they were on the right side pushing in. Um, so just saw that I got quite a bit of damage off on scout and soldier, killed one of the soldiers down. Um, sniper's still at main though, still no pressure, so I'm able to get a lot of spam on him, push him away from, um, you know, his optimal sniping position. But that does get me picked, because there wasn't, everybody was concentrating on the dem on the right side, and not, so he was able to push in, get me, which is a good pick by him. Um, but he overextended a bit and was killed by a soldier, as was the sniper. So, again, they are at a slight advantage um, because Miralim was alive a few seconds before um, Ronnie was. So I'm going to do the normal stickies there, get a buff, then just sit there and wait. I saw they're pushing in already though, so I fall back a bit so I can get in the good spamming position for the point. I want to get as far away from them as possible, um, the Uber that is and get as much time on. So as you can see there, I got a demo on a scout because I was so far away, but you know, I was close enough to actually be able to spam. So I've separated this uh, medic away from all his heavies after that, after killing them. Um, that's just Kaida's left. So yeah, whenever they push on the right side, just get as far, get on the left as far as you can. Um, you know, just stay there, get some spam on, up on the point. It's such an easy point for a demo to bend. Just get some spam up there, that's all you have to do.
So all, as you can see there, all of our heavies were overextending a little bit to try and get the, um, the demo down. It was an important kill for us because without that demo they can't put any pressure on at all. Um, although having said that, there was a sniper on the left side that I saw and didn't call for some reason. I guess I just wasn't paying attention at the time. Um, so now we have, again, this is an even bigger disadvantage that we're at now than we were before. Because they have a huge uber advantage. They're at like 60% now. Um, whilst our medic's dead. In fact, they've got crits. Um, which, to be honest, is a bit lucky for us. Because we just have to avoid it. Whereas with the uber, they, are, they would be straight in our face. Whereas with the crits, they're not as confident. They want to get, you know, some range and get some spam into us. So like I said before, I'm getting as far down the left side as possible. I'm just keeping that spam up there. Um, that would have been fine, but it was just me and the demo left, so he's just going to try and avoid my stickies. Luckily, he didn't see them there. I didn't. He didn't uh, see me coming up there. Um, so yeah, they get their point, but it was a nine-minute, forty-two defense, which is very good. In all honesty, uh, we lost that purely because of a uh, sniper pick. It was a very nice pick from Fishy on to um, Ronnie, giving his medic a huge advantage. Then they just you know could push him with crits whilst we weren't buffed at all. Some of us were still pretty weak. Uh, so yeah, it's well played to them the last round. Uh, so here, what we like to do is um, we like to get a heavy on the right side. So one of the scouts switched to heavy. And um, one of the soldiers, mar uh, I think, no, that was the second round we did that, sorry. So yeah, um, we switched one of the soldiers, one of the scouts to heavy. And he acts as a um, meat shield for us. So he just pushes out on the right side with the other heavies behind him. Um, and you know, he just pushes out, takes all the spam for us, we walk in behind him, jump on the medic and force the uber. He'll, and as you can see there on the left side, like I talked about earlier, um, should have used bonk that, made, you know, that allowed the scouts to just push out. So there's gear going down after taking all the spam, sorry, it's a soldier that switches to heavy. Um, so he just takes all the spam for us so that we're able to, you know, get a pick and still be alive. Um, so that's, uh, they've lost a soldier for uh, one of our heavies and they're falling back now because they know they don't have the defence to play that close anymore. Um, so we just need to get rebuffed and be able to go back in now. So as soon as we're rebuffed, I'm just getting it now, then Mark will be getting buffed. I'm going to jump in straight away, we know where the medic is, there's nowhere else he can be. I'm, I'm looking at the left side there now, I know he's not there, that means he can only be behind the point like we were last time. So I get the sticky straight under his feet straight away off the bat and force the uber. So Marco tries to get out there, he gets seen, has to you know, try and play around a bit there, do as much damage as he can. But he get, they get too much spam off on him. And he goes down. But we have the, like um, they tried to do last time, like uh, like TT tried to do against us, um, we managed to force their Uber. So we now have the advantage to push into B, and we've got two scouts just capped A, going to be coming in from the tunnel or C. So we push in on the far right side. I'm, I'm like I said before, I'm checking every single possibility where the demo could be sticky, checking his spot, my spot, you know wherever. Calling the soldier gun aggressive. I'm not sure what that second sticky was. So yeah, now it's just a, trying to put as much pressure on them as possible, force them out, like I have done there. Demo went a bit too far ahead from his um, heavies and he got separated the stickies in between. Um, here we overextend a bit, but we knew, know we need to get the medic down again. We don't manage to do it. He gets the uber, so we're just you know, getting out as fast as possible. We do lose one of our soldiers there, and we're about to lose another. Uh, we lose Ronnie as well, so... A bad decision from us being a bit too greedy with a, you know, wanting to force the uber. And it doesn't pay off in the end. Um, and that, obviously then they're going to block the point because they have six alive. We have two on the point because I'm backing off an A. So we're going to have to you know, restart the entire round. It's almost as if we didn't pick their medic. So they, they now have the uber advantage. And we're just coming out of, out of a spawn to B now. So we're going to have to rethink our strategy. And um, you know, we will be pushing from the right side again. We'll take a scout with Bonkat to check where the stickies are. Um, I would suggest doing this if it's allowed all the time. You know, it's much easier for your heavies to then push in without a worry. So you can see there are two scouts with Bonk. Both checking for stickies. Checking it's all clear. I'm just double checking though, you can never be too careful. Um, so we've got, we see their combo. Me being me, I wanted to push on the right side. Straight away, get down there on them. Um, it's a nice spam from us there. Pushing them, we managed to force them all the way to the top right, but what we've done is overextend again. Um, 
we got, I think, we managed to push them all the way back. We got a lot of pressure on them. Um, but that was all we managed to do. We got the pressure on them. And whilst doing that, we, in the process, we lost two people. Um, but the message, the message still didn't sink in and we continuously pushed. Uh, another silly mistake from us. It's just the lack of communications. I mean, they've just taken me on. Um, and they, they are previously an all-German team. But communications were a lot better there. We managed to you know, talk about how um, we're all going to go in, push, uh, how I got a sticky off the medic, and that he's weak, so I need to get a pick quickly so everyone extended a bit more. Um, here what we're doing. Marco obviously about to go down here. Ronnie should have fallen out much quicker than he did. Luckily Marco did get a lot of spam off on them. So Ronnie can actually get a lot of needles on them, leaving them all below 30 health. Um, so we've got a medic for medic trade off there. It's not ideal, but, um, you know, we are attacking, so it is a lot better for us to, um, it's a lot better for us to lose a medic from there but, um, than it is for them. So, they've got the medic respawned. They're all regrouping now, getting ready to come back and defend the point. Ours actually isn't there yet, I don't think. And I'm still dead. So that's a huge disadvantage for Burton Bashers. But having said that, we just got a lot of picks and their medic was included in those picks. So we managed to get the point. I think um, TT overextended a bit there. And, uh, you know, they got into a, a bad position where but we had the high advantage and everything. So, so yeah, we got the pick on the medic, which is a crucial pick, especially considering we're pushing last. The medic isn't alive, we just have to get a lot of spam. If we don't do that, we actually lose two people. So that's the third person going down. So we know we have to fall out. We have to get out, um, you know, regroup, build the Uber. We know we're going to have to push in Uber. It's too late to push without it now because uh, their medic's alive as well. So what we do here, we all regroup, sort out where we're going to go. Um... Uh, regroup. We've gone A, purely because it's a um, crits that we're using now. It's much there's much more options to um, push. You know, it's, you get a much wider view of the point if you push in through um, from A with the crits. Um, I was a bit unfortunate with the crits there. Pyro knocked it, um, got rid of the crits, meaning I didn't really do anything with that crits. Got a one sticky on the medic, and that was after crits. A pipe rather, and that was after crits. So we're just relying on um, other people picking up the pieces now. We've got three people on the point, luckily. Um, but I think they've, they've got a couple of spawners on the way up. There's a scout up doing enough damage for Mirlin to just pick off the final one. So as you can see here, I'm trying to rush in. Um, I failed my jump there, so I actually just give up and wait to build the Uber. And that gives other people the time to push in quickly as well. So I try and deal as much damage as possible now. Um, we know we're not going to push in yet, so we're just going to have to wait for the crits. We're pretty close to it anyway. Uh, so we're going to try and go on the left side this time, whilst getting everybody in the point, whilst I spam. Um, I think that's called, that call's actually changed so that um, the soldiers can just jump straight onto the point. Yeah, our soldiers, our soldiers um, go straight to the point whilst I um, sticky spam it off them. As you can see there, people going straight onto the point, scout included. I jump up to get that um, pyro out of the equation. He then drops off to attack our medic. They Ubered by the looks of it. Yeah, there's Uber. Um, but that's everybody off the point because of the spam I was putting into it, meaning all our heavy classes, our heavy classes and scout and the scout will manage to get onto it. And they're happy for us. So it's a slow round, but luckily it wasn't too slow. I only managed to get that. Um, so let's wait for the switch team now. A um, couple of problems there were a lot of the time we overextended a bit. This is like I said, it's down to the comms being a huge problem. Um, they've just I've just joined the team. Like this is my third game with them. Um, and you know, they're used to playing with German players only. So they're having to use a completely different language than what they used to during games. Um, and obviously it's hard to get the calls right during intense moments and when you have to use a different language. So you know. Um same as last time, we're going to be using the meat shield tactic so that um, we can try and do something to their medic. Just going to have to wait for someone to actually switch. 
I think we're discussing here because like like I was saying last time, Marco does actually go scout. Yep, there he is. And it looks like we're not actually using the meat shield. Yeah, so um, Marco's gone scout to help on the point. Um, we've actually got a sniper this time to pick up from, you know, us not possibly not being able to pick the medic because they're going to try and play it a bit smarter than last time. Um, so we come out, force their soldier away, get the buffs. Um, we're gonna let Stefan go. We're gonna go out left so that Stefan can go out the uh, right side without being watched at all. So I don't really manage to do anything there. I got a couple of stickies to protect me as I was coming out. Got one pipe off on the scout, so he's a bit scared to do anything now. Um, but gear didn't actually push out with me. Me and Stefan got out. Um, so Stefan's on the right side now. He hasn't been seen. Just did actually get noticed by in the demo. He missed a couple of shots there. Um, I think he had an open shot of the medic he missed, but oh well. So now we're just going to get the quick cap on um, A. Luckily we still got, still got it. Joey came from behind on them. Um, so now we're just going to regroup for the attack on B. We've got the Uber, they've got the Uber. We didn't manage to force it, so it's you know it's an equal push and defend. Um, because of that, we want to go. We want to, you know, go somewhere that they haven't got all eyes on. We want to attack somewhere they don't have all eyes on. Um, so we're gonna go for the um, C into B. The reason we do this is they only ever have the demo man watching this area, rather than all the classes or, or the heavy. Sorry. So we've got one soldier watching there. I managed to force the Uber a couple of seconds before ours was forced. I um, get a little Uber there, to, so I can jump out to safety. Um, so what I do here, I come out and help our team again. Our medic does go down, but so does their scout. Or will do, rather. It's one of my superb rollers. There we go. Um, so now it's just a matter of putting pressure on them. I, I, they've called where the medic is. I'm going to try and get that one sticky on them. They called his weak. There we go. I got that one sticky. It's all I needed. Um, so now it's an equal game again for us pushing in. Uh... So now we're just going to wait around until we get our medic alive, which there he is. So we're going to start pushing straight away. We've got we've gone for crit so that we've got we can push quicker than they can defend. Um, so as soon as we have crits, we're going to need to be using it. Um, so we're going to go. F we're going to because they're not all here yet or not in their defense defending positions. We're going to push out on the right side straight away to rock. So now I'm just going to try and do as much damage as I possibly can. Get the demo down straight away. I see the soldier there as well, so try and get him. Get more spam onto him. And what you saw there was me being crits without being told that we're close to getting it. Which meant that obviously I had no ammo at all to use with it. Um, still no ammo, so I couldn't actually do anything to help. So, trying to ha do as much as I can from behind that rock and little ammo, and managed to get one pick. Um, again, a lack of communications there, losing us that little push. Um, so, that's something we're going to have to be working on as a team together. So we switch back to the Uber because I th I'm not sure if we actually got the medic pick there. But um, yeah, it's safe to do that now after that minor error with the crits. We want to get a fast round. We don't want a long round where it's going to be a horrible defense for us because we're going to have to be concentrating very hard to make sure we don't slip up once. Because that one slip up is all you need on them. That one mistake and that's the round lost for you. So as you can see there, we've got, t we've got a pick um, straight away from one of their soldiers. He um, did a bit of sloppy play, and then we were able to get another soldier. So that's already that's two mistakes there from Team Thermal Take. Um, so this is definitely the point for us. They have they only have one heavy, and although they do they have Uber, so yeah, we didn't get the medic last round, last push survivor. Um, it should still be picked for us. They did get a medic as well, and actually, Kai's got a lot of picks there. So it looks like the uh, the cleanup play there from TT managed to kill off a lot of our players. So now th the last two alive for TT are actually less than full health. Um, I don't think that was called for Bash, and Bash didn't actually um, realise that one scout went the scout went behind him. So that was pretty unfortunate. But um, yeah, we all spawned around the same time. Our combo is theirs, so we're actually pushing in because we're closer to the point than they are. Uh, spawn wise. As you can see there. 
pushing on the right. Um, I that was again really stupid. That was really unlucky of me to be honest. But um, luckily my team managed to clear up, and we've got a medic for medic trade off there, and we've got more heavies alive. So this point is definitely ours now. So that was yeah, the mistakes did finally pay off. Um, so we're able to go for a qu really quick push now onto C because their combo recently died. We want to get in there straight away, get as much time on the point as possible, whilst putting pressure on their spawn. So as you can see here, first thing I do is sticky up that right side in case someone's jumping. I don't actually go for a sticky on any of the platform, just mid-air anywhere so it stops someone mid-jump. Um, so yeah, so the first round we were defending, I put stickies on B. So I like to change it up, so I'll go to A. Uh, I'll wait for the medic because he wouldn't have a soldier with him otherwise, because one soldier's had to go to B because I'm not going there, and the other soldier's killing himself for the, um, for the ammo for the engineer, which I had to make sure I didn't pick up there. Um, okay, so when I come here, what I do is I put a couple of stickers above the door, which we'll see here, and I put another couple on the box just to the left of it. That way, you know, if they get out before my stickies are blown, um, that gives you know I give them a couple of seconds to get a bit closer to me, and then you know they're near the box, and I just blow them, and it's fine. So you know, in case they do get past the door and they're coming to me, I've got my I've got you know both sides covered. They'll still take damage if they try and push out, so I should easily get a kill here. If they, I will get kills here if they push out. Basically, there's no way they won't. Get, I won't get a kill here. Even if they do that, I'll just you know reapply the stickies. So, you know, there he is. He managed to get past my stickies, but there was enough damage from the other stickies that I put just to the left of the um, door. There was enough damage coming from those to um, kill him off. So again, sort of gone aggressive. Managed to get the. Um, he's down on the door just before he came out so that um, put enough damage on him that you know, he'd be killed by whoever shot the next uh, projectile at him so there I'm doing my standard um, B side hole here where I put stickers above the door um, again on the right side like I said before I didn't see them come out on the right side last time so I'm gonna put stickies a bit further out on that on the right of that hut so as you can see there he got a nice bit of damage onto that soldier he's really weak now he's at the fall off the point straight away so as you can see there the other soldier just went up because they had to trade off the other soldier then died he's marker being up there as well so they're already one soldier down they haven't got another soldier with the medic they've now lost another scout so i now go from the point to get a bit of height on them um they've just popped the ruber so as you can see here, I'm sticking up the roof a bit in case the soldier jumps up. So again, doing as much spam as I can from the above. Like I said before, whoever has the height advantage will more than likely win the defense slash attack. Um, unfortunately here, we're all pretty weak. Everyone else is pretty weak and they've got the soldier above. So it's just a case of using shotguns on them to get a definite hit whenever he peaks. There's no point in us using and um, our soldiers using rockets because uh, you know, like six, six out of ten times they won't hit him because he'll dodge a direct and the splash won't be enough. So it's you know it's better to use the uh, a shotgun. Um, so again, we're going to use your hold engineer, soldier on top, soldier with the medic, me holding both sides. Um, it was called the on the left side, so I was a bit aggressive with that first sticky, but they, you know, they stopped pushing. So this time I'm not too bothered about the right side. If they come out of there. I'm calling enough, and they were called on the left side already, so I know that they're on the left. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't check my stickies there. I'm again going a bit too aggressive here. I'm lucky I wasn't picked again, especially considering that I messed up my first sticky. So I fall back straight away, get ammo, get healed by the medic. Um, I'm ready to do the left hold again, but they're already out, so I'm just trying to get as much damage spread out to all their classes as possible. So spamming through the window, spamming over the rock, spamming the ramp. Um, after I've done that, I tend to go for the roof because of the height advantage and it's so much easier to spam down um, so now we've got all our heavies on the roof and they're all trapped by the rock um, we shouldn't really lose this but Kyla's got a lot of spam up on top onto both me and the other soldier and, and onto Marco so that was us two down um, and one of their soldiers jumped up on the roof shutting gear down as well so they just had to take the sentry down and that was it so um, we should have won that because we were on the roof but they had a medic with them we didn't you know, they could get healed up after our spam. We couldn't. That's all it boils down to eventually. So the spawners here, I'm going to do, again, 
my usual stickies. I don't stray too far away from my usual stickies on a map like Gravel Pit. Um, because I just prefer the DMing part of um, when they push rather than hoping to get the, um, the ninja stickies off. So after I've done that, I always hold the roof. This way I'm covered from the main exit. Um, and, you know, like I said, get the medic away from the um, combo like I just did. I didn't blow up for the scout because of that reason. So now I've got the demo stuck in um, the left, set, left exit. He goes down. All the heavies were shot away from the um, medic, so they all go down. Um, the medic hasn't actually gone down yet, which is the beauty of those stickies. Uh, we can get the entire team down before their medic. Um, whilst they have Uber. Or whilst they have Ubered up, um, even. So, yeah. Now I just have the minute hold for last point. Um, so, after they pushed in, after teams have pushed in from the left side, one at exit one and two, they don't tend to go there again, so I completely ignore it after the first push and just concentrate on the first, uh, the main exit. So, again, overextending a bit there. I was really lucky not to die. 12 health and I just got out of it there. Um... So now I just go and get reset. I'm not going to bother the medic. I don't, especially, I don't want to go up there either with 12 health and wait for the medic to heal me. Because, you know, lucky sticky rocket, shotgun, hit, and I'll be dead. So, again, stay back. Do as much spam damage as I can. That scout got a bit too close to me. And now I couldn't really do anything. He was in my face um, and forcing me off the point, off the um, ramp, rather. So now it's just down to um, Pyro and a soldier. Luckily, we do have the pyro, and he can just get people off the point really quickly. Um, so there we go. That's two no win for button bashers against Team Thermal Take Victory. on a gravel pit, and giving us the two nil, the two map win rather in um, ETF to well. Um, so yeah, that was Numlocked uh, for mygamingedge.com. Thanks for watching and listening.